Welcome guys, this is uh, Aretha 2, obviously for day 2 of SNES live streams. Uh, this time uh, we're going to be playing Aretha 2, as I just said. Um, we're going to be going over the menu, uh, the menus and stuff like that, uh, the main characters, and uh, yeah, a little bit, try to get a little bit in depth with this game, uh, with uh, a few things that I have to... Uh, like gem armor crafting in this game because you obviously you know that there's the, the whole gem thing involved so you have to do stuff with that and what you can do with that is you can basically craft armor I, i'll just wait to get more in depth let's get into the game um this first half is like extremely long it's like an extremely long um cut scene well it's the beginning story of the game um some people are going to come around the corner in a few minutes there you go um, both of those are actually party members, by the way, so, uh, keep that in mind. So those two characters you actually see right here, I might as well tell them out. Um, that's, one of them is obviously Magus, um, very mysterious person, often, uh, joins your party and then leaves, um, which is pretty weird. I don't know exactly why, uh, she does that. Um, he or she, I can't really tell the difference. The other guy right there is Kyle. Um, Kyle lives in the castle under the Dino King, and, um... Uh, he basically joins your party once uh, this uh, Magus leaves. But uh, yeah, so that's two characters. Uh, another, well, more characters in the game. Well, there's a whole bunch of them. There's um, there's Opildo, um, a few others I, I don't even need to mention because we're not going to play this game for that long. But uh, there's Aretha, obviously. Um, she's a queen of some castle on a quest to, to basically exterminate a certain monster that's destroying the world or whatever. You know how it is. Uh, pretty cliche shit. There's also Todd. Um, after an avalanche occurs, he can't get back home, so he joins your team as well. And so, yeah, that's pretty much the four main characters we're really going to be focusing on um, for this live stream. Um, it's kind of like a live stream playthrough in a way. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are going to enjoy. If you guys are, make sure to like, subscribe, give us some feedback, and as always, fans, uh, just enjoy. I'm going to try to do this as professionally as, as planned. Uh, we do have obviously objectives here, as you can see on the on the left side. <clears throat> we have to befriend Todd. Um, we have an avalanche scene. Um, we have to befriend uh, Magus. Uh, find the forest home. Get to level five. Uh, Gura, we have to do Gura, Gura Town. Um, defeat the Dino King, which is a boss. Um, gem armor craft and uh, finish Port Town. Once we finish Port Town, I'll end the live stream there. Um, another thing about the Dino King, I think he has like 300 or 600 something, 300 something health or whatever. Um, so that guy is pretty powerful. He doesn't, he doesn't really, he's not really that strong for a boss. All you have to do is just kind of defend and use magic. That's really it. Um, but he does hit kind of hard, so you got to watch out for that. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and check out my uh, Aretha LP I did. It's on my playlist on my library, actually, on my channel. Um, they're old school LPs, probably not the best quality at all, probably the worst LPs, but uh, they're LPs in general on the game, which has never been done before, because nobody's ever LP Aretha but me. Um, nobody's going to live stream <laughs> Aretha but me, um, or even long play, this is kind of like a long play live stream. But that is Aretha, that is actually Aretha there. Um, first with Aretha 1 we had Ariel, now we have the actual queen princess, or queen, whatever you want to call her, um, Aretha. She is a queen, Queen Aretha, and uh, yeah, so this is going to be a really uh, long story in terms of this first part, but I'm going to be quiet and kind of let you guys enjoy it, even though it's going to be a lot of, a lot of talking. Um, I can't really speed this up, and even if I could, I don't think I would because it's, I don't know, it's part of the story, you guys, you guys uh, should just watch it anyways. It might be interesting, it might be a plot twist um, compared to the first game, but I know that uh, compared to the first game, the battle system is a lot better. Um, it's just uh, battle system is way better hit detection is way better everything is better um just it low-key cleans up the graphics a little bit so it's not like super because like aretha one had like super crazy ass scheme colors and all types of weird colors and shit that just made the game look vibrant as fuck and uh this game doesn't really do that it just kind of sticks to the original whole rpg format kind of loses its color and light but it focuses more heavily on story and uh battle Aretha was really just with the visuals. That's that's what really just pulled you in. But uh, yeah. I 
I guess I could uh, re-LP these games in the future. Most likely I will because obviously these are really two two really good games. Um, I'll probably just uh, skip skip past most of it. Hold on one second. Had to close my window there for the most part. Um, so yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying this story. I'm just going to be quiet and let you guys enjoy. We have nine objectives just like Aretha 1. For day one, this is day two, so we're playing Aretha 2. Um, I just thought it would be perfect. I have a few formulas here um, for gem, craft, uh, gem armor crafting. Um, so yeah. Really got to focus on uh, Aretha and Kyle for that. Um, they're really the only two that can equip the best sh shit out of that. Everybody else just kind of gets bad results. And only certain people can equip gem armor, so... Yeah, at least uh, in this game, you have a pretty good use for it pretty early in the game. Because in Aretha 1, uh, I don't think you jump armor craft until like late, 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 late in the game. I can't remember. I played that game a long time ago. I beat it, but I don't remember everything about the game. So I think like late, like halfway through the game, you start really like getting into gem armor crafting. Um, but I'm going to be showing you off the, the whole menu and stuff like that. I'm going to be naming my character so it makes it easier for me. And of course, objectives. Um, so yeah. I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of this story, and I shall be quiet, like I should have been, from the start. I mean, these graphics are actually pretty good. These colors are rem uh, very reminiscent of Super Shell Monsters, in a way. But like in Albert Odyssey, too, it's very good. This music is good too. Soundtrack for both the Aretha games were perfect. So were the visuals, I guess. The story is eh. Character development is pretty good as well. Except for Magus, because she just often just disappears and reappears out of nowhere. Zopid, Zop, Zopildo or something like that. It's like an animal or whatever. You have to capture it. Uh, probably one of my favorite characters in the game. Just to throw that out there. It's been a while since I've played this game. It brings back a whole lot of memories and sentimental values. I miss uh, the SNES. The SNES is probably the best system ever. Hands down. It's kind of like a little bit of Yee's feel to it, the music. Alrighty, so here we are at the ports here. The dock, actually. This is the dock. They're uh, sending Queen Aretha off to go slay the evil that's disturbing, that's uh, destroying the world. It's like a certain evil character. I don't, I don't really know. It's a monster, whatever. Quest, the journey, whatever. She has to do to get her shit done. That is literally the main thing of the game. Those two are not very important because uh, we don't ever get to see them again. But we are heading on to Como Town. And that is the story of Aretha. The, the beginning, at least. Did it a little bit better than Aretha 1, though, I must say. And I don't, uh, I don't like the whole bubbles thing. <laughs> Makes the game look a little bit too cute, too kawaii for me. Here we are in Coma Town. Kind of like a snowy village. Sorry about that. No face cam, no chat. I'm um, probably going to do face cam for 
um, SNES day three, which is tomorrow and Tuesday. I'll probably do face ca uh, face chat and chat face cam and chat. I so did not mean to enter here. Here we go. First objective down. Befriend Todd. I used to call him Knock Knock because he looks like a knock type girl. I knock. Me knock. Me no like Arita. Like a caveman. He looks like a fucking caveman. So I used to play with him like that. But uh, Aretha looks pretty similar to Ariel. I'm pretty sure, however, uh, Aretha 1 ends, which I forgot, which I played a long time ago, but I forgot, is uh, wherever Aretha 2 picks up from. So this is probably uh, either Ariel's daughter or this is Ariel herself. All right, got our first party member. I like looking around. I guess we could talk to a few people, why not? It's in Japanese, you guys won't be able to read this stuff, so I guess it, it is kind of pointless to be talking to people. <laughs> I'd probably be the only person that understands. My apologies. Alrighty, we got uh, foxes and stuff. These are, uh, these are not bad. They're just kind of wild animals. They look very ugly. There's also rabbits. Yeah, there you go. Speaking of them. So this is a level, level one slime. So Aretha isn't very strong herself right now, so I usually just defend and uh, attack. Oh, knock went first. Wow. I thought it was, um, it's okay. I gotta remember that. Uh, knock goes first. We got one uh, purple stone. So the stones are basically named through color. Um, brown stone, you know how the elements work. I guess the elements are different in this game. Um, here we go, going through this cave. There's a chest here. And it contains a potion. Also, let me show you off the menu. Um, so this is very similar to Aretha 1. Um, here are all the gems on the side, on the left-hand side. Um, below, you have your gold, 206 beta. Um, we have two names here, so I'm going to tell you which, uh, what, what each of these menus is. Um, so this first menu right here is the item menu. Um, over here is heal. Over here is talk. Um, you can name yourself with this. This is configuration. This is to load, and obviously this is to save. These are for stats, this is to equip, and this is for skills. Um, so, for items you have stuff like global items and um, stuff you can use outside of the battle, stuff you can use now, equipable items, and uh, stuff like that. Um, over here, of course, you have the whole talk, so you can talk um, to Nock or Todd, the Barbarian. Uh, there's equipment right here, uh, but we don't have anything really that we can equip, um, so that's pointless. Uh, right here you can name, um, so I'm going to name her uh, Aretha. In bold ass. Capital letters here. Hold up. Apparently, you can't race it with the B button. And it fits quite perfectly. Good job. Todd, just to help me out, because I'm going to forget. Uh, 
might as well put those two there too. Alrighty. So yeah, I've gotten in depth with the whole menu system so you know how that works. Make sure you write that down so you don't forget. Um, here we go, and if you can guess what this is, this is the avalanche scene. So second objective down. It's going to be kind of faster than Aretha 1 because this game kind of plays pretty fast. It's not a slow paced game. In terms of story, it starts off slow, but it really speeds up. Aretha was uh, Aretha 1 was very slow starting, like extremely slow going. Alright, so you have the whole turnaround system. You can turn around with left and right. Of course, we're going to go ahead and take out to this guy first. Bam. And then I have Aretha attack him. Alright, we got a brownstone. Uh-oh, something's the matter here. Yep, and there goes a massive avalanche. They probably should be. That should just ate them. They probably are dead. <laughs> I don't think in reality you would survive something like that. It doesn't matter where that shit would take you. You'd just be buried. You'd, you'd be crushed under all that snow. The weight would compress your body to the size of a fucking sugar cube. <laughs> like, I don't get this game. But, um, yeah, some pretty good visuals here. Alrighty, so the avalanche scene is done. Second objective out the way. Let's get on to our third objective, which is to befriend a mages. Um, first, we gotta take out these guys. Um, so this is obviously attack, defend, um, special uh, attack for him because he's using a melee weapon. He doesn't use magic. Um, Aretha, on the other hand, does have magic. This means healing magic, and this is uh, f like casting magic like fire and stuff like that so obviously she always has her wind magic I mean this girl looks pretty similar to Ariel so I'm pretty sure this is basically Ariel realizing that she's Aretha uh, or that she's the Aretha maybe it's a title you can be Aretha I don't know how that works I, I played the game a long time ago beat it and I forgot this game I LP'd a long time ago so I still remember how to play this game Uh, this whole spin around system was implemented into a lot of later SNES games. Um, like, for instance, uh, Wizap, um, Wanderous Magic, and a few other games that take on this formula. This game kind of takes on a Dragon Slayer Gaiden formula for this NES. And we got some snakes. Not bad. Taking a little bit of heavy damage here. I'm going to go ahead and use my heal ability. Magic looks better in this game as well. Bam! Yeah, the battle system in this game looks perfect. It looks way better than what the original Aretha looked like. The GB versions are just out the picture because the GB versions of Aretha are all garbage. Every single one of them. <clears throat> None of them are good games at all. Terrible story, terrible everything. They shouldn't even be considered a game. It's like bug. It's like fucking Bugsby, like by Kemco. The game is god awful, and so is this. By GBA, I mean this game is good. Alrighty, we escaped the dreadful forest. Okay. Pretty nice place here. Even got like dogs roaming around here. Let's go to the inn here. Um, they have toilets. That's funny. Um, let's go over here to the left. Through here. And guess what? Here we are with mages. 
weirdest chick ever or guy. I can't tell if it's a girl or a guy. Just it, the art art design is not too good. Um, in this case, I was gonna play Ancient Magic, but I've played that game enough. I've LP'd it twice already, or re LP'd it too. So yeah. Plus, I got lost in that game, so. Here we go with the little cutscene. Befriending mages. That is the third objective out of the way. Now we are on our fourth objective, which is find the forest home. Or the mysterious house. First thing I want to do is save. You want to always save whether you're using an emulator like me or not. You're playing the real game. You definitely want to save. Because um, that shit comes in handy. Let's rename you. You have to rename every one of your guys here so you know who is who. And I kind of keep track with them. Because it's pretty easy to forget names and shit. And it uh, makes it look more uh, western this way. Alrighty, now that that is done, that is literally all we have needed to do here. Say goodbye bye to this town, we'll never come back here. All the way around here. Here we go, entering another forest. Now we gotta follow along this trail, and I love this music, this music is good, just gonna sit here and listen for a bit. This is nostalgia for all hopes and purposes. This game gives me a joyful feel to my life. Sometimes I feel like uh, I gotta play this game. They just has pretty good magic. Like pretty good, pretty good magic. I probably should have actually stayed at the inn. But it is fine here. And I'm gonna show you why in a bit. Why you don't really need to heal. Just see what type of stone I got, in, but it's all right. Water looks pretty uh polygraphed actually. That's like a Habo game if you ever played Habo. Oh god, we got Trents. You guys remember these from Aretha One? They look a little bit different in this game. Yeah, this game is kind of a mysticless um, clone in a way, but. Uh, well, yeah, Mystic Quest came out way before this game did, but this game did it better, if, you, if that makes any sense. Okay, let's use magic here. We have healing magic. Um, he has quite a bit of magic, three there, and he has a whole bunch here. So he's, he's quite the magician. Um, it's gonna heal her up. Go ahead and use my wind magic. Goodbye. We got two brown stones. I will take them or gems. Alrighty, third objective out of the way. Find the mystery house or find the forest house. Alright. And we're just gonna go ahead and sleep in the bed. So you can recover here, kind of rest. Um so now we're going to have to do our fourth objective, uh, well, our fifth objective, actually, which is get to level five. So, yeah, like I said, this game runs pretty fast. We only got four objectives left. So, yeah, it's a good place to grind up and shit anyways, because, you know, you can just grind up and go heal and grind up and heal. And we're going to check out all of Magus's magic while we're here. So I know which one is which for my preference. So that one's a fireball. 
And just because, why not? We need to show off magic anyways. I'm going to try not to leave too far from that house. I'm actually going to start heading back. Um, so, second magic is a stronger fire attack. And Knock, he has two abilities. This ability is quick. Bam. Does a fat amount of damage. Um, Knock with his energy points, he doesn't really recover them very easily. There's no items that really um, recover energy points. So you kind of just have to go to an end for that. Um, but, man, yeah, that's pretty good how he runs on that. Um, let's go with this ability. Which is... Some elemental attack. It was a silence ability. Hmm. And this second ability spins around, and the next time you see an enemy, it'll attack. Boom. Pretty interesting uh, game, actually. Let's check statuses. Uh, let's check Aretha status. Okay. Looking pretty good here, level 4. Um, she has a while, 67 to get to her next level. Um, defense 19, attack, um, magic defense 21, MP out of 50, uh, HP out of 55. Todd, on the other hand, has a whole bunch of equipment, does not have any accessories. Uh, level 4 as well. Uh, so we all we all need pretty much just one more level. Attack is 31, defense is 26, um, 41 to get to the next level. We have mages here, who's missing his shields, so probably can't equip one. Level 4 as well. Attack is 30, defense, magic damage is off the charts. Um, 51 health, 69. She needs 21 to 27 to get to the next level. Um, I need to grind everybody to the next level, so I'm not going to just, you know, uh, do favoritism here and shit. But anything higher than level 5 is going to be harder to accomplish in this forest, so level 5 is the limit for this area as of now. As you can see, the enemies still kind of go down pretty easily um, with uh, magic. As soon as we get to level 5, basic attacks will start actually doing the job. Um, so yeah. Hopefully I'm getting in depth in this game as, as much as possible. Because I am a little rusty with LPs, because I haven't LP'd an old game in a while. Old school game in a while. I've been doing a lot of mobile shit. So hopefully this snaps me back into that habit. Um, Aretha's going first this time. Bam. I'm going to save that 34 skill for last. Oh, that's like that one deciphering code skill from... Um, uh, for uh, ancient magic, uh, Bazo. Now we gotta deal with this guy. Read this pretty handy with the magic. Alrighty, let's use this bitch. It's an attack all ability. It does nothing. Huh. Wow. Let's look at Mages' heal abilities. This is Greater Heal, or Heals MP. Oh no, that's Greater Heal. I thought I was right. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, let's get it. It's gonna take a while to get to level five here, but please, please enjoy. I get to show off the battle system, so I mean, it isn't too bad. I'm gonna try to speed it up here now that you've seen all of Magus's abilities. Uh, 
including these. Yeah, it can't be used now. I want to collect as many brownstones as possible. Those things are useful as fuck. Every ghost. <clears throat> Sorry about that. That was a little bit parched. I probably should have got some water. Bam. So Magus and Todd are pretty much the strongest. Magus has gotten his level up. Um, I wonder how close these two are. Nine. Nine and thirty-five. Alright, that's not a lot actually. So uh, Todd is about to be next. Let's go ahead and get him his level. He deserves it, I guess. This is probably the longest objective so far. Um, hope you guys are trying to uh, enjoy uh, the new things that I'm trying with my channel and stuff like that for recording old school games and all that stuff. I'm really trying hard to make my videos look more better and professional for you guys to enjoy. Um, so yeah. Ah, oh, come on, bro. That should have been a level. I think I just gotta walk around. Different areas of the forest have different enemies, you can say. So yeah, basic attacks do the job now. Todd gained his level. Aretha's next. And then we can continue on with the game, or the story, really. There can be as much as three enemies on one screen, I think. Nah, just two. So six enemies in total in one battle. Against four. Four of you guys. Uh, level 15. I want to go ahead and gain my level first. Before I go off. Start doing other shit. I know you guys remember these spiders from uh, the first Aretha. They look a lot different. Yeah, this game really differs from the first Aretha. I'll buy a lot. You, 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 they're probably two different games, pretty much. They feel like two different games. I wouldn't say totally different, but just two different games in general. Like Mario 64 and Mario Odyssey type shit. Same games, same people. Um, just different feels to them. Come on, Aretha, get this fucking level, please. Alright, there's no way in hell you're not gonna gain a level this time. Magus, uh, Aretha, you should be able to take this guy out. Uh, ow. Fucking dickwad, let's take this guy out. Bam. Bam. God damn it. Oh, this guy is quite the damage dealer. Boom. Let's go ahead and use some magic here. Let's get you out the picture. Basic magic works um, very quickly. I mean, very uh, soon. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> I'm just saying random shit. Can't talk for the life of me. Boom. There you go.
Whole squad is leveled up, guys. Our fifth objective has been completed. Now let's head on to our sixth, which is uh, Gura Town. So this will be the last time we'll be able to rest at this place. So... Yeah, the stronger you get, the more uh, tougher enemies you will be facing, of course. Boom. May just to be able to take this out. Bam. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Todd, do not make the same mistake as Mages. There you go. Aretha, do not fail me again. Thank you. Music is pretty epic too. Pretty good, shall I say. Music is pretty good. Bam. I'm just trying to collect all the stones. Trying to get brown stones. That's what I really need because that's what you craft most with. Believe it or not. Alright, you never run into battles on the overworld, so remember that. Here we go at Guru Town. And so we got a few objectives to do here. Um, as you can see, our next thing is to um, defeat the Dino King. Um, uh, first, you gotta cross. I think it was him. No, it's definitely not him. <clears throat> Weird. It's crazy because one of these guards has uh, something important for you. Like they want you to deliver something, but uh, we're just not uh, activating. Uh, let's just talk around to everybody in the town. <clears throat> of course, there's the whole potty thing. I think it's still a funny, funny joke. They actually Im implemented that little joke into a Chemco game I played the other day, which I thought was pretty funny. Alrighty. And so yeah, this is the item shop. We don't need to buy equipment um, as of now, really. Place is hella busy. Check all these rooms for valuables, even though I know for a fact that there aren't any. I'm gonna check them anyways, just because I can. Alrighty. Um, I'm just gonna stay the night here. Oh, why not? <sighs> All right, let me see which guard it is. 
Yeah, this guy right here. Okay. We're still on the Guratan objective. Um, if you guys remembered that uh, forest we just came out of in that mysterious house.